The Marg EQ4 is one of the most popular plugins on the Plugin Alliance website, and it's not difficult to see why. This is a really flexible and musical EQ, and it has the world famous Airband. Now, the Airband is great for adding beautiful high end clarity to things like vocals, drums, and even your master bus. Hot on the heels of the EQ4, we've now got the Marg EQ2. And although these two plugins look similar and share the same great tone, you can expect different characteristics, so they really complement each other in the mix. I'm going to show them working together on the same track, and I'm also going to show them working in isolation as well, so you can see the differences. Now you'll be glad to know that if you're an EQ4 user, you're going to get some really good discount on the EQ2, and as ever, there's 14 day fully functional trials on both of these plugins. More about this later, but right now, let's take a look at the plugins in the mix. So here we are in Logic Pro 10, and we're ready to start adding the EQ2 and the EQ4 to some of our parts. Now let's play back the section that we're working on. And you can hear that we've got drums, synths, and effects. Now it's the high-end percussion that I'm concentrating on here, so I'm gonna isolate it. And you can hear it playing back there. Now it sounds good, but I wanna brighten things up a little bit. So I've got an EQ2 and an EQ4 here stacked, and I think that they're gonna complement each other really well on this track. Now if we take a look at the EQ2, you can see two distinctive bands in the center here, and we can select them using this little toggle switch. This gives us a narrow band and these red frequency selections, and in the lower setting, it gives us these white frequency sections, anything from sub right up to 1.4K, so two distinctive sounds there. I'm gonna go for 400K and the wider band. Let's have a listen to that in action. It's adding some real body to the snare and some real focus. I'd also like to add some 15K in the air band. That beautiful high-end clarity we were talking about in the intro is being added there. So that's all good, but what we can do with the EQ4 is go a step further because there are frequencies here that aren't available in the EQ2. So we've got a 650 Hertz band and a 2.5K. You can also see we've got different frequencies on the air bands. There's a 15K band here that's on the EQ2 that's just not available on the EQ4. Now this allows us to double up between the two EQs and really increase this beautiful high-end effect. So I'm adding a second air band at 20. Have a listen without those. Much punchier and much more focused. I'm really liking the sound of those. Now let's bring the element down in the mix to compensate for the gain we've added. So that's the two EQs working together, and that's great, but let's have a look at them in isolation. On the kick drum, I've already got a Marg EQ4 set up, and here we're adding gain in three low end bands. Now these will actually overlap and interact with each other, giving us a great low end presence in our kick. We've also got some extra bite being added to our synth bass part here. So we've got some air band at five kilohertz and some 1.4K being added. Let's have a listen to that quickly. Just a little extra bite and makes it a little bit more upfront. So hopefully this has opened your eyes to the EQ2 and the EQ4, and it's showing you how they can work together and complement each other, but also how they can work in isolation on separate tracks. Remember you can get 14 day fully functional trials right now on the Plugin Alliance website and try them out on your own system in your own time.